Something heavy that, that women aren't a threat. At least not in their natural element, right? And let me explain why. Is, is this uh, section of the housing right around here? Do you mind me asking that? Is this? Yeah. It probably is. What is, what is one of the what is one of the rules of a woman being able to get Section 8 housing? Got to have kids. Can you have a man in there with you? No. Why not? Why? Now, do you think they push that to white women, Asian women, Arab women? Do you tell them, we'll give you government assistance if you don't have a man in the house with you? Right. You know what effectively becomes the daddy in the black community? The government. Or the white man. Because he runs the government. And the only thing he tells you is, I'll take care of you and your kids if you don't have that black man in the house with you. Right. And that's been since the beginning. So you are under threat when you are his and under his care. You're only a threat when you are joined with your black man, right? And that's a form of slavery. Give me that in uh, in uh, First Corinthians 11. I'm gonna show you something, right? Because I, I, I'm gonna say something, sis, and you tell me what comes next. Strong, independent, blank woman. What, feel, what gets filled in there? Right. Now, have you ever heard the phrase strong, independent, white woman? No. Strong, independent, Chinese woman. No. Strong, independent, Arab woman. Why is that term, strong, independent, always coupled with black woman, and it's always her being independent of her black man? Uh-huh. Why is that pushed to you so vehemently that, uh, if you don't mind me, is, is, is the father in the home? No. Right. All that's a product of that. You're taught to be independent of your man, but your children are independent of a father now. And men are taught that they can be independent, they don't need you. And now, men don't have no purpose. When a man's purpose is to provide and protect his family, his woman, his children, that's his purpose. Without that, he out here idle. He out here not in his true element and no threat. I see a bunch of men out here, and these men are gods according to what God said. All of them. And you are goddesses in your natural order, but outside of your natural order, you're not a threat. I'm going to show you. Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So a man's head or leader is Christ, read. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. So everything has an order. Christ, God, Christ, man, woman, and then the babies. But what happens when we get out of their order is chaos ensues. Now I'm going to show you what happens when men get taken out of the house. All this is biblical. Give me that in uh, Isaiah 3. Right? What the brother is showing you is that because we are these people, God is the only one dealing with us. Just like that's your baby boy. You tell him to be in the house before the lights come on. If he's not, you're going to whoop the neighborhood kids? Why? But all the neighborhood kids is not in the house. That's... That's, since that was the perfect answer you could have ever given, that's how God feels about every race of people on the planet but ours. We are the children of God. Everybody else are bastards. That's why we suffer when we get so funny, but that's in the Bible. Everybody else is bastards without a God, without a father. So when we act up and do wrong, we, we living in the ghettos of America. We getting shot up in our own communities. We got low food, bad education because we are the sons and daughters of the living God. Read what you got. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12 as for my people as for my people my people possessive read children are their oppressors children are their oppressors you know what that means as for Israelites God's people children oppress them meaning a lot of the evil stuff that happened around here I guarantee you it's young bucks doing it is it the old heads doing it that's what that means as for my people children are oppressing them Meaning children, youngins running around making it hard as hell to live out here in the projects of America. Read. And women. Hold on, hold on. These children that are oppressing you. What? And women. And who? Women Read. rule over them. They grow up in a single parent household with only mom in there. That's what happens. Without a father in the house to guide the household, the babies grow up without structure, guidance, discipline. And then what do they do? With, with no discipline, you can't tell them nothing, they ain't got no guidance from a man, they grow up and terrorize the damn neighborhood. Because fathers don't, don't allow that. A man in the house don't allow that. They tell us, well, a lot of women don't, but I, I must share a secret with you, sis. You may not allow that. And he little right now, so that may work. But by the time he's 12 years old, he's going to be bigger and stronger than you. By the time he's 12. And a lot of the things that you say to him, he may be like, all right, mom, but... 
Amen. In the back of right, because he in the back of their mind, they know one day, very soon I'm gonna be bigger and stronger than mom. It ain't really much she's gonna be able to right. do or say. But a father a little different. A father a little different. A father, you look at him even when he old and like he been working all his life, he been breaking his back, his hands strong as hell for no damn reason at all. And it's like, ah, I know he old. But I ain't ready to play with him. But I ain't really ready to play with him because he might have killed me out here. Right. That's how fathers get down with their sons, and men need that discipline. Yeah. That's why when the brother said, you ain't a threat to, to, to the, these people that run the world, yeah, that's because they done took your protection from you. They took your man. Give me that second address, and we come finish that, and we're going to get second address. Read. Oh, my people, they was lit. The As for my people. As for God's people. Children are their oppressors. Read. And women rule over them. And they being raised by single mothers. Read. Oh, my people, God's people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err. That's why they allow you to have Section 8 housing, welfare, food stamps. Not saying you per, per se, because you, you but, but any of our women, and the only thing you got to do is not have a man in the house, and I'll take care of you. Right? That's your protection. Now, I'm going to show you that in the Bible. You're a black man. At one point in time, when we came over here during the 60s, we were marching together. You would never see a black man without this black woman beside him. And then, and then the white woman pushed feminism. And told the black woman, your man is oppressing you. But how your man oppressing you when he getting chewed up by dogs? And he getting lynched and he getting hung. That's what was happening to your black man when they told you he was oppressing you. He getting hung from trees and he oppressing you. Real quick, last one and I'm going to let you go. Since I know you got the babies out here in this hat. Read what you got. Uh, uh, what did it say? No, 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 no. Five, well, it's 2nd Ezra 36. I mean, not 2nd Ezra. Sirach 36 and 20 something. 19. It said that uh, the heads shall... You know what I'm talking about? Where no hedges? The possession is spoiled? Give me that real quick. You got it? He, that's it. That's it right there. Watch this, sis. Read. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 36, verse 24. He that getteth a wife. What's it? He that getteth a wife. Not a baby mama, not a, a bust down, not a, a wife. A woman is supposed to be a man's wife. That means he better protect and take care of her and them babies. That means responsibility. That means something happened to her, I feel less of a man. That's what that means. The Bible don't talk about boyfriends and girlfriends. That's what this world done pushed to us, and that's why we suffer so much. That's what the black man and the black woman never been more divided than they are now. Never been more divided. But we the same people. We suffer the same. You need protection. I need a woman to support me, but we hate each other, though. But we can't get along. You don't need me, and I don't want to deal with you because you loud and black. And you loud, black, and independent. That's, that's, what the, that's, that's literally what our people are now. When we see a black man, we see a nigga, and we see a black woman, we see a loud, strong, black, independent woman who don't need us. That's what we see. Read. He that giveth a wife. He that giveth a wife. Beginneth a possession. Begins a possession. You know what that possession is? Family, sis. The, the beginning of a strong community is the black family unit. Mothers, fathers, and children. We don't have that in our community. That's why the community is in shambles. Right. Read. A help like unto himself. My wife is supposed to be a help like him. Meaning her mind is like his mind. Read. And a pillar of rest. She's supposed to be a pillar of rest. Meaning when, when your husband come in the house and he tired and he went out there and fought the whole world for you. He come there, you rub his back, make him some food. You know what I'm saying? Do what you need to do for him and make him feel good because he went out and fought the world for you. And if somebody come in that house, he's going to fight the world for you. Read. Where no hedge is. Where now it calls a husband a hedge. You know what a hedge is, sis? protection like a fence around something so if i was to put a hedge around these buildings that's a fence like like right there that's a hedge that's to protect or keep certain people out that don't need to be in the bible compares a man and a family as a hedge of protection it says where no hedge meaning no man no husband is there the possession is spoiled there the possession is spoiled what's the possession the family and that plays out that's adam and eve sis that's the secret of the bible that adam and eve thing remember Adam taught Eve what to do. But somebody came along and told Eve something different than her man told her. And messed it up. And now all hell breaks loose. And that's what happens every day. That's, you, you are the Eve. And your black man is the Adam. Adam was a black man. He was a black woman. And that plays out every day. Show up real quick. Genesis 2. I'm going to show a little man, right? Watch this. You thought they was white? Yes, yeah, since this Bible been lied, you've been lied to about this Bible. Watch this. Genesis 2 and 7. I'm going to prove it. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. The Lord God formed Adam of the dust of the ground. I'm going to show you something. Just hold, hold, hold this mic real quick. 
I'm gonna show you something. This is watch this. Watch this. So it said the Lord God formed Adam of the dust of the ground. So I'm gonna keep up the dust, meaning dirt. Uh-huh. Right? He formed Adam of that. Right? Now I'm gonna ask you, little man. If God made a man of that, what color was that man? If he made a man of dirt, if he, what color is If he made a man of this, of this color, of this stuff, what, what color, color was dirt? that man? That's what, that's, you see how simple that is? That's right. You see how easy that is for a little baby to understand? If God made the first man ever to live from the dust, the dirt of the ground, and then took a rib of him and made a woman, what color was that woman? She was the same complexion. Now, when another person who, who was not Eve's husband tells her to do something separate from her husband and they get destroyed, now you understand what happens in the black community. Okay. That's what happens. You are Eve, your black man is Adam, and you are separated from each other because the same thing. You don't have to listen to your black man. You can be strong, black, and independent of him. And now we die. Now the neighborhoods are full of children who are killing each other, selling dope to each other. The family unit broken means death in the Bible. And that only is taught to you. Why? Because you are the people of the Bible. And the people that teach you this are the devil the Bible speaks of. That's right. That's who they are, plainly. All right, sis, so I ain't gonna take up too much of your time. You know, you read that flyer, and uh, you know, reach out to us if you got any questions. Okay. Name, what's your name again? I'm bad with names. Shantae, nice to meet you, Shantae. All right, little man, what's your name, man? What's your name? Kaden, nice to meet you, Kaden. You a smart young man, huh? All right. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong enough.